and welcome to another edition of A Shave and a Song, a show all about shaving with a straight razor while listening to some fantastic music as we do it, hoping to introduce you not only to the art of straight razor shaving, but also some great genres that you may or may not have heard of before. It's just a great way to spend the next 15-20 uh, minutes or so and just enjoy the day. Oh, so I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, Let's just jump right into it. I'm going to get started today shaving with my Dovo Best Quality 6 8 Zebra Wood Scales. I did it myself, as you probably already know. <clears throat> uh, going to be using some Parasso Red today. Gotta like the Parasso brand. Good brand. Always gets a good shave. You know, I'm, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to, I'm going to finish off uh, with Parasso Red with some uh, Captain's Choice Bay Rum. Unfortunately, I ran out of the Captain's Choice Bay Rum Shaving Cream, so I just have the, uh, the aftershave left. So I thought, let's try pairing it with the Parasso today, see what happens. And uh, I'm going to be finishing off, as always, with Clubman Panade. Great talc. I highly recommend it. I don't think it's a, a complete shave unless you finish off with some Clubman. The thing I like about the Parasso is it just immediately starts lathering. And you don't have to bloom the puck like you do with some of the hard soaps. You know, blooming the puck means before I get in the shower, I always put some hot water on top of the soap bar and just kind of let it soak in uh, while I'm in the shower and then it's nice and ready to go when I get out. You don't have to do that with the Parasso. I just get the brush nice and wet. The brush has been soaking as well while I'm in the shower, but uh, I just have to kind of put it on the, the Parasso and it just goes to town. I've got more than enough lather here to last me for a couple of shaves, but there you go. So see, just does a fantastic job. So if you're starting out or you've never tried it, give Parasso a whirl. I, uh, I like both the green and the red. I've never tried the white. So at some point in time, I'm going to have to do that. So now I've got the lather, I put it in my scuttle, and I'll froth it up a little bit more, you know, smooth it out, get, get those big bubbles down into little tiny bubbles. <clears throat> You're not, you don't have to have a uh, scuttle. I like to use a scuttle just because uh, I'm uh, pampered, I guess, and I like to keep my, my cream, shaving cream kind of warm throughout the entire shave. So there we go. I think we're we're ready. So let's uh, wet the face down and let's do this, shall we? Well, it was a couple weeks ago that I introduced on this show anyway to a uh, a genre entitled electronic music that featured DJs slash composer musicians who kind of did their own thing either played all the instruments or, or created the songs electronically and then you hear a lot of that in clubs and so today I, I'm going to return to that genre but I'm going to do a sub genre and, it, and some people call it its own uh, stand apart from electronic but it but it's still electronic nonetheless um, and it's called ambient Ambient music is is different because you know a lot, a lot of electronic music focuses on club music, dance music, and things. Not all of it, but a large majority of it does. Ambient music does not. It, it's more of a uh, a genre that focuses on atmosphere or moods. Um, it, it 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 sometimes or a lot of the times maybe lacks the basic structures of traditional music, you know, the, 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 the flows or the layering uh, that, we would, that we would, you know, uh, be most familiar with. A lot of times it lacks that, and it's just, you know, uh, some layers of sounds and, and, and whatnot. Doesn't always have to. Like today, uh, I'm, it's, the, the song I'm featuring is still ambient music, but it definitely, definitely has some structure to it. Start my first pass. Mm 
it's ambient music is more uh, slow instrumental music. Um, it's kind of repetitive in what it does. You know, it doesn't really have like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. It kind of just repeats the 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 the, the rhythm or repeats the the barring throughout the song. But it does so in such a way that it, you, you don't get bored with it. I think I took a little bit of beard off right there. It's kind of a a gentle flow of music. Let me uh, start to get the mirror steamed up a little bit. Let's wipe that off. Gentle flowing music, uh, maybe like a sonic wallpaper. It's there, uh, but it can just as easily be in the background. So it's, it's really, ambient music is designed to, it's designed to help you maybe relax, or at least that's what it does to me. It's a great way just to go, uh, just be in the moment, I guess. You don't have to really put any thought to it as you're listening to the music. You know, you don't have to try to decipher the lyrics, because most of the time there are none. just kind of settles you down, uh, takes you on a ride. You just, you don't have to overthink ambient music, you're just there. You're just there. So today I want to feature uh, sort of a newcomer uh, to ambient music. I don't quite know how new he is to it, but uh, he's relatively new, I would think. In fact, There's not a lot of information about this guy. His name is Will Young, W-I-L-J-A-N. And if I'm pronouncing the J correctly, it's a Will Young. I, I could be completely off, I don't know. I just know that uh, my friend in Switzerland, whose name is Jan, J-A-N, it's not Jan, it's Jan, so I'm kind of doing that. He's from Belgium, uh, the, the Will Jan is from Belgium. About, that's about the only thing I could find on him. Only information. Even on his Facebook page, he doesn't really give any biography of himself. He does, however, have 23 tracks on SoundCloud, so he's he's been doing this for at least a couple of years. How many, I don't know. But he is gaining popularity as people discover him, and you'll see why he's gaining popularity, because I want to feature a song it's a single that he released in 2017, and I was fortunate enough just to somehow stumble across it just about the, within a week or two after he released it, I came across it. It's a great tune. It's called uh, Where Do We Go? And uh, again, as you listen to the song, think about, you don't, don't think about anything, just let the song take you into the moment, just let you be there. You don't have to engage with a lot of complex thought. Just let the song take you on the, the journey that it's going to take you on. 
that's what this uh, music is all about. That's what this genre is all about. Just taking you on a journey and you don't have to steer, you don't do anything, you just be. And this song for me does that so well that I think that it is as close to being a perfect song in its genre that I can think of. I don't nor I don't say that a lot, but I think this is one of those close to perfect perfect pieces of music. Uh, it is definitely art in many levels. So let's get right to it uh, as we begin our second pass. This is from a 2017 single. This is Will Hyun and Where Do We Go?
Don't you feel good? Will Hyun. Will Young, 2017 single, Where Do We Go? What do you think? I like that. You know, like I said earlier, ambient music is uh, brilliantly done, if, if done well, uh, in which it is a repetitive theme all the way through, from start to finish, but it never gets boring. It's layered in such a way that it just takes you on a ride. You know, and you're just, like I said, I can't say this enough, you're just there experiencing it. Um, it's, I think it's one of the, one of the great art forms of, of music. And there are some really, really talented people out there that, that do it very, very well. So I hope you liked it. Check out his other stuff. He has a few videos uh, on uh, YouTube. Not very many. I think, I think maybe five. But if, if you go to SoundCloud, he has like 23 tracks that are out there. And they're all, excuse me, they're all really, really good. So if you're discovering William for the first time today, congratulations. I hope you enjoyed him. Check him out. You know, let's spread the word around. Let's, let's get, him, uh, get him out there and, and get him recognized because this guy has some talent. Uh, as always, like the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the uh, alarm bell so you're notified when uh, new shows come out, and by all means, uh, spread the word. Let's, let's get this channel posted uh, to, to all your friends, uh, whoever you think might enjoy it. You know, it's kind of an eclectic show. I get it. You're watching a guy shave, but at the same time, we're listening to some good music. Uh, so spread the word around. Let's grow the, grow the channel a little bit. As always, if uh, you have an artist or a song that you'd like me to listen to, maybe even feature in an upcoming show, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll always take a listen to something and who knows, maybe add it to the list. <sighs> what a great way to, uh, to either start the day or end the day, however it is, whatever time it is when you're listening to or watching this show. A little bit of Where Do We Go from Willian, some ambient music. I am ready to embrace the day. I hope you are too. So wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, live life, everybody, and happy shaving.